come let us come and let us come and let us come and let us come and let us come So I was I was out here chilling and I saw a um, never seen this before, dude. But I saw a butterfly come down right in front of me, like flap its wings, okay. and then and then take off again. And you know the fascinating thing about butterflies is that I learned that they have um, they got they live four different lives before they become a butterfly, or well, three different lives, and their fourth life is a butterfly. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why that's why people people don't take it for granted, man. But, but I think people need to appreciate butterflies, man. They went through three different life cycles before they became a butterfly. They were reborn three different times, and then on the fourth time is when they finally become a butterfly. And not and it's like a very small percentage that actually survive that get that far. That is really gay, but okay. It is it, no, it's it's it, I I I'm telling you, dude. I learned a lot as a father, man, because I went, I would take my kids to. I just fucking with you. I did. I just I just had to throw it. <laughs> but I I really take my cool. kids. I like, to these... I love nature. I love nature. Yeah, nature's dope, man. But I would take my kids to like some random museums, and then like I would learn stuff from these museums. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, cool. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Um, I was just checking the updates on the news and Pen uh, Pennsylvania said, or I think the, the mayor of Philly or whatever, she's not going to count. They're not going to count the, uh, the ballots right away. It's going to take like a couple of days, maybe a week. Oh and, God. I... <sighs> yeah. And Philly has the most points. It's like 20, 20 electoral college points. So Trump would need oh, that in order to get down, caught yeah, up because he's down with Biden on the like, yeah. yeah, he's, he's down, down by down. like ten, by like ten or thirteen or something like that. I think. Can you do like screen to like screen on screen and like look up something? Yeah, like look, if... look Can you, you can you look up on? Damn it! Okay, okay, yeah. All right, check it. What's this fucking okay? Because I'm trying to remember. I'm really blown. Okay. Um, so I can't. I can't do that on this. I can't do that on this. Okay. Shit. I know. Okay. It's all good. It's all well, good. Anyways, there's a video, dude, on YouTube, and it's about a programmer that was hired by some senator, and he's giving a te sworn testimony in front of like some committee, and there he's describing how he he can make he has already developed a software that can throw the elections and it'll always make it 51 49 you know whichever way you want it to swing but it'll always land 51 49 and there so and he's like and he's and, they, and the guy's asking like can there's any way to detect it like is there any way to detect this he's like there's no there's no way to detect it unless you're a coder and you know the code and you look into mm. the code and and you and you're like there's something wrong there, but that's the only way you'll fucking be able to detect it. There's there's no you can't detect it. That would damn that would take a lot though, because who know I mean but, how many how many people in the world can actually do that? You know what I mean? There's probably a small group of people, but yeah, like you know I'm saying that they what if they hired like you see I'm just what I'm trying to say is this, is a senator hired a fucking programmer to make that program. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I'm not surprised. I could see so that happening. Like, why the like? So like, that's already showing you that there's a possibility mm -hmm. that it could be rigged because he's already saying, yeah. I, I mean, yes, it's very easy to rig it. It's not. It's not hard. So the, what I'm trying to say is like everyone acts like it's such a fucking like it's such so uh, concrete and it's so like a fail. Like it's like there's no. Like, there's no error in it. There's all kinds of dude. There's dude. You don't know what's going on in this shit. Like right now, what they're telling you, oh, well, we don't know if it's gonna in Pennsylvania. Oh, coincidence that they've been giving us the Pennsylvania thing all week, all two weeks about Pennsylvania and everything about Pennsylvania, eh, and then now it comes down to Pennsylvania. Like really, dude? 
Like it, they could do, <laughs> if it couldn't be more what is accurate. Odd, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. And then, um, in, in, oh god. I mean, e- even just, in even in Arizona, because uh, you know, I sent you that video, and there's supposedly there's some like fraud going on, right? Like all around the country, but they're saying that. Excuse me. That um, Arizona is not even fully counted yet. It's like at eighty four percent. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, what but the there are is there like there flies are, on your side and my side. What the fuck? It's they know we're recording, dude. That's why. There's a fly, dude. Literally, dude. There is a fly. It's like the the Jerry Epstein fly. He's like Jerry Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> you see that meme with uh, Mike Pence and it has the little fly and has a MAGA hat on. The fly has a MAGA hat. <laughs> dude, the, fu- the the funniest thing I think I've seen recently as far as that goes is the uh, the Jim Carrey and Joe Biden SNL sketch. No, I, I didn't see that one. No, I, I didn't. My mom probably. No, I didn't see that one. Oh, it's hilarious, dude. Did. That's good, yeah. And then uh, Jim Carrey turns into Jeff Goldblum. Like he goes into like the little cocoon and then turns into the fly. You see it. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I've seen it. And then yeah. what's in that little that black actor? What's his name? That uh what's his name? He's funny, man. Uh, the guy he comes from, out uh, and he's like and they're like they're like doing this, oh they're like they're like, they're like Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's on top of he's he's on top of Mike Pence's head and he's like, Let me at him. Let me at him, I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a Jim Carrey, dude. Jim Carrey. The dude's like the highest, he's like he's like the he's like the highest priest in like in Hollywood. He's like the high priest of like Satanism there, dude. You know that? He's like supposed to be like the like the like the black pulp of like fucking <laughs> like Jim Carrey, yeah. He's like the pulp of all dude. Yeah. All right. He is, bro. He's like, okay, he's like so- worship. Like he's they they're like in the inner circle, they're like, he's the he's the leader. Like that's scary stuff, man. Let's talk. Let's talk about that then. Yeah, he is. So, so pretty much the satanic rituals that Hollywood is doing. He's high priest, is what you're saying. Fuck yes. And then he tried to. And then did you see where he tried to do the shaming? He went on Jimmy Kimball, and he's like, "You guys, you don't know about it. You know about the Illuminati. You didn't see that one when he went on Jimmy no. Kimball, and he's like, he's like, you don't know about it." And then Jimmy Kimmel's like, no, what do you mean? And he's like, he's like, yeah, you don't know about it. Uh, you're in it. He's like, you're in it. He's like, all these people in it. Jim Carrey was doing this shit. And it's a, it's supposed to be like a mocker, a mocking, like a mocking ritual. He's mocking them. Well, you, I mean, you said it yourself, right? Like, you, didn't you say that, like, there's, they have to, like, reveal the truth, like, out in the Yes. Open. And, and the yeah. fact that just exactly. so, yeah. And that nobody's going to believe it anyways. Right. Right. Especially when they use it, he uses it, does it like a joke. Yes. And then it's coming from Jim Carrey. Yes. So it's even and they better. they don't know he's the leader. He's a, they don't know he's a real, like one of the leaders. So when and he's doing it, they're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. They're laughing because they know, they're like, dude, you drank the pee and ate the poo poo and did the. And see, here, here, here's the thing. You, you said that he's the leader. I've heard that before. Dude. I've heard that yeah, before, but, but not, not, in the, not in that sense. I've heard the fact that like, Somebody, I heard somebody say a while back, you know, Jim Carrey runs Hollywood. Like, I heard that shit, but I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, like, yeah, man. He's, that's what I've heard. I don't know if, like, I don't have proof. Like, I'm not in Hollywood. I just, I just heard that through my studies is that he is like a high priest. He's the highest yeah. priest. Like, he's one of the high, whatever, high witches or warlocks or wizards or whatever the fuck he is bro soothsayer but yeah he you know and then he and then he comes out and then his and then his all you know everyone all these so the real big celebrities all have these tragedies in their lives like even jim carrey like he his girlfriend like died yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. and it, you know it's and it's it's all tra- it's a real tragic story it's a tragic story it's it, you know and it's always everyone always has a tragedy in their shit dude and it's a ritual. It has to do with their. They have to. Something has to happen, bro. And I think it's like planned. I think it's planned in order to get up in ranks, like a like a like they sacrifice these people. Wow. Like, <clears throat> like they do rituals, and then they 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 put like they whatever they offer up whoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're like you got to you got to people that you love. 
or you won't get the power and shit like that, dude. Like weirdos like that, they do shit like that, bro. Well, I've heard, I've heard of the blood sacrifice. Do you think that it's uh, done on purpose or or do you think that it's uh, like a curse that they put on those people? No, no, it's, what do you mean done on purpose? Like they purposely put them in a position where they can get hit by a car, die in a car accident, or they get murdered, or they yeah, they, like, yeah. they give them drugs yes. on purpose that they overdose. Some of them, yes. Some of them, yes. Like, I'll give you one of them. Like, some of them, yes. One of them is like Michael, like Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. his dad. Yeah. He got shot, right? Broke down. Yeah, broke down in the middle of nowhere, like somewhere in Dallas in a Cadillac. But they did like the research, like you can't, you can't get a flight in that Cadillac. That Cadillac's made so you can't get a flat. So he gets a flat, and then he was being followed by somebody. Somebody tried to carjack him. Wasn't it a carjacking? Yeah. Yeah, some shit. Yeah, and they shot him or they killed him. And yeah. But I'm saying, like, what, what does that sound like? Sounds so like- you just said they put him somewhere, or they had mm-hmm. someone follow him. And that's it. That's it's, it's it. That easy. They're just like, and then he and he goes about his day because he's like, oh, it's a random act, but you know. He knows what it happened. <clears throat> he yeah. knows what the fuck happened, you know? And he has the balls to do it. I mean, man. it's crazy, man. And they, and they, yeah, they end up sacrificing somebody that's close to them that they love for riches. Yeah. Like Kanye. Like, think about all of them. You can go look and look at all of them. They all have a tragic story. All of them. Yeah, did Kanye, Kanye mom dies. Kanye said something in his recent interview where he, uh, I think it was with Joe Rogan, where he said that, um, that he regret he regrets, uh, being in the in the in, in the industry because of his mom because he feels like he feels guilty or something like that about his mother because he says that he 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 sacri- that he didn't say he sacrificed. He said he gave his mom to the industry, to the entertainment industry, or something like that. He said he sacrificed her. Yeah, I don't know if he Whether said those you, words, but not. he yeah. said it. No, he's not gonna say it. Come on, he's not gonna say sacrifice, Mike. That's just he. Ha- he knows how to use a soothsayer. He's good yeah. with words. He's a wordsmith. Yeah, he knows how to use words. He's just like I gave her to the yeah. I gave her to the music industry. Yeah, because he's because you know when once. Once he got famous, she wanted like all his surgeries and money and all this stuff. And I guess she was his manager. I don't know what, what something like that. But um, so she feels that if you wouldn't have got you got famous, she wouldn't have got all this stuff and that would ultimately kill her. Yeah, she would still be alive. He's trying to tell you. He's trying to do a confession to you, slight in a sleight of hand. Like he's trying to confess something mm-hmm. which he really, can't really say. It's yeah, just, because it, it because it because it, you know I mean I we don't know what's in Kanye's heart, but if he really did give his life to Christ, then he has like, guilt. So he has all that on his shoulders that he's trying to like get off, get out in the open, man. You know, for forgiveness. Well, it, first of all, the Bible didn't say to do that. You, you're not supposed to do that in the open. It tells you to go and pray to your Father in in secret, you're, and it tells you not to pray and not to do confessions like the heathens do. Which go out in public and do it for vain show. Yeah. So they don't, it, it says not to do it in public. It says not to show people that you're confessing, not to tell them anything. It's between you and your father. It has nothing to do with anybody. So, he, so that's what I'm saying. That has to do with the, he's not a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Because I can go to his, his album and I can play some of his songs backwards and they're satanic. There's, you go 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 to his new album, bro, and there and they have you, called back, back masking. It's called back masking. Jesus is King, the new album. Yes, and there's some and go to back masking, bro. There's called back masking. There's a couple songs on in that one that they they play backwards and it's satanic. Right, and Jesus is not his name. First of all, they use Jesus because that's a mockery. That's a Roman thing. So they know we know where all this is coming from. I know where it's coming from. You know, it's a Jesuit thing coming from the Jesuits in the Rome. So everything has to do in like Kanye, like all that, they're all puppets, dude. They're all puppets for the, for the, for the great cause of Rome and eh, all this bullshit. It's dude, it goes back a long time. Like this shit goes back to the 1700s, dude, when the United States after the civil war went bankrupt, they went bankrupt back after the civil war, after the civil war had happened, they had no money and they and the Rome stepped in, bro. 
and bought Washington, D.C. They bought Washington, D.C. That's the reason why Washington, D.C. is a sovereign. Because back in the day, they bought it as a, like a way of getting out of debt. So that Rome came in and bought it up from them to get to get them out of debt. And all. it's crazy, Mike. It's some crazy stuff going on, right? And, it, and then now they have a Jesuit. Everything's a Jesuit ritual. Everything is a Jesuit ritual. Well, that explains the uh, the architecture in D.C. Yeah. The architecture in D.C. is like is like uh, Egyptian because it's the same thing because Egypt taught Rome. Right. Mm. And uh, or actually Egypt taught Greece and then Greece taught Rome. So there it all stems back to Egypt. So they're, when they're doing those those big those those buildings, they're paying homage to their to the original knowledge givers that gave the knowledge mm. of, of you know of everything of society of everything running the government and all that stuff bro that's why they have egypt the obelisks and all that all that shit bro all that shit dude. it's all yeah you have to go now i can, I can hear you in your voice no i'm good I, I hear the vibe i hear the vibe change it's like <laughs> no, it just like it's it's deep, man. It's really deep stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just it just it, like, it goes. Right it's like it it just like with when people react a certain way to politics, you know, in today's age, or they um, they think that they know something and they they only see what's on the surface, and then you're and then even it's deeper than me and you. you know oh yeah. I mean? It's deeper sure. than all, all of us, bro. And it's it's the people at the top, the elites that are that are keeping the traditions and, and that culture alive and keeping it moving. Ancient you Babylon. Know? Yeah. Ancient Babylon, bro. It's all that oh, ancient Baal, um, 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 Nimrod, because Nimrod was the first. He was like a governor. He was like a king, and they he ruled the whole earth, bro. He literally ruled the world, and everyone actually he was actually the first person to be deified, Nimrod. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, he's the one that he's the one that got everyone to start building the Tower of Babel. He was like, all right, we're gonna go to heaven. Like he's like he was the one that's like, we're going to heaven, and we're gonna fight against the Almighty. And I'm taking my idols and I'm putting them up in heaven and I'm gonna kill the Almighty and I'm gonna we're gonna worship my idols up in heaven. That's what he's that's what he that's what was his plan. And everyone was lockstep doing it. Everyone was like, Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're but I'm they all had their reasons why they're gonna go to heaven and fight with God. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, and they're like, Oh, I'm gonna do this, and I don't, you know, but I'm gonna we're all gonna go and you know, kill God. That's literally what they were gonna do, bro. But I'm just saying it all these people, like these guys, they worship these guys. This guy's like, oh well, he has a badass, right? He was bold enough to go against God. And then he almost did it. And God came down and gave us gave us a tidbit. Like, oh, if we all were to get in accord and do one thing, we could actually do do it. Yeah. The Almighty says that in the Bible. If you if the Almighty, if they if the, all the people were to get and do something and they all decided to do something they would do it if the whole world decided you know what no more poverty that's it no more poverty there's no more there's not going to be no more poverty that's it there's no more hunger we if we have everyone said there's not going to be no more hunger it would there would be no more hunger that's why it's so important for us to like be united right now but we're so divided that it's not i don't think it would ever it would it would take literally an act of god to do that like he's he, i think that i feel like god has given us a chance to do it as as humans you know but we're not doing it as well as he hoped we would and i think it would take an act of, of god for us to come together and do something positive for the world dude and that's really i mean on a human level it's almost impossible i think it is impossible on a human level. you know that they are going to do it they're gonna they're gonna mock up their own act of God. So their their and, tower. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was I was gonna say that the that the Tower of Babel today is probably gonna be 
the microchip, putting us in, into a system, into a technological system where okay. they, they, where one man can literally just control everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's, yeah, man. That could be. I also was going to say that uh, the Tower of Babel, if you saw one of my last posts, it was it's NASA and it's them trying to reach up to heaven. Because remember, the firmament in, oh. in, in the Bible, the firmament mm -hmm. in the Bible is mm -hmm. called heaven. If you refer, if it's referred to as heaven, the firmament. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Only NASA can go there. Only the government can go there. So only the government can go to heaven. Because guess what? Me and you can't. Me and you can't go to heaven. Not any layman can go. You got to be a special astronaut. Hmm. Mike, you see what I'm telling you, Mike? And so what I'm trying to say is that the Tower of Babel is them saying, oh, we go to heaven and come back all the time. Oh, yeah, we go to heaven and come back all the time. That ain't shit. Oh, and guess what? Uh, you guys can't go. Only we can go because we're privileged. And we're going to just tell you about it. Okay? Tell you, tell you about our experiences. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we're in 2020. It's not like we, can, we can't take you guys there. I mean, you would think that if they go there all the time and they're coming back and they're doing it safely, that you would be able to take fleets of people and bring them back and take, oh, you know, space is real. Look, and come back. Here, go and float up in space and go and do the whoa, gravity movie and then come back. That's what I'm saying, Mike, is they don't, they're, they're holding something from us. They know that there's something, there's something, a great thing going on. And they're like, don't let them know. Because if they let them, if they find out what's really going on, the truth, that will unite them. The yeah. truth of what's really going on in this place, like the what, what really is happening, like what is real. Give us the real cosmology. Give us the real model of the earth. Give us the real pictures of the earth. Uh, uh, give us what's going on in the South Pole. And like, give us everything. And that alone would be like, people would, would wake up. But guess what? What, what they're going to do? They're going to do the reverse of that. They're going to do an act of God that's going to come from the skies. And it's going to be aliens coming from the fucking skies. And everyone's going to turn into a fucking atheist. There's going to be a mass wave of atheism that's just going to fucking go. Because guess what? It's a reverse of not believing in God. It's a reverse of we need to make these people not believe in God and believe more in our what we're telling them, which is space, infinite void, vacuum, other places, other whatever, whatever. So yeah, we're going to do. Go ahead. If you don't have if you don't have the belief in God, then you're susceptible to to their practices and what they want to do. To you. Right. Because you're going to be like, and oh, God's not even them. real. I'm gonna, you can go ahead and put the chip in me. It's all right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Yes, that's exactly right. Because guess what? They'll see it. They'll put it, in their, they'll put it in their face. They'll project it like a big projection up in the sky, and they'll mm -hmm. look as real as can be. Because, Mike, you know they have that technology to do that. Yeah. They'll project it up there, and it'll look real as hell, dude. And they'll, people, there'll be a wave of people going, we're made by aliens. They just came. And they're coming back. Oh, you know, they'll keep them in that. That They came and showed themselves. And then they gave you a message. And But we'll be back in a later time. Just wait for us. And then they'll have them waiting, bro. Yeah, they'll they have, have them have, waiting. They have some, uh, that movie that, because, you know, I, I when I think of movies, I think of, like, propaganda, right? Yes. And I think, I think that Hollywood uses their magic of illusion and movies and special mm -hmm. effects and stuff to make people believe like, damn, this could be real. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it, it reminds me of that movie Prometheus. You ever watch that movie? Prometheus. Oh, you know what? No, I didn't, I didn't catch that one. I, people always talk about it, but it's okay, what that, it's, is, it, is it like a monster in it or something? So there's like a giant, right? And he's okay. like, a, they're, they're, they're giant aliens. And supposedly there's, I think there was like maybe, Oh man, I want to say there was six or four. There's 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 a small group of these guys or aliens. Okay. Sorry, and these and these creatures are human like, but they're huge, bro. They're alien like, also so they're big, and apparently they're they're so highly intelligent that they created humans. They cre they oh. created humans. 
so they had they realized that that they made a mistake with the human race so they went back they were going to go back to earth to destroy all of the hum- humanity and in the in the movie the the uh, the group of, of astronauts or you know space explorers or whatever they were uh, yeah, yeah yeah they were supposed to go to this planet to go and find their creator of course mm-hmm. shit went went haywire and they ended up going to the wrong planet and um totally fucked up the mission but like yeah it's, people, people, it's like everything in all wrapped in one movie it's all I mean, their paradigm and their what they believe is all wrapped up in one fucking movie and it's and it's a predictive programming because they they this is probably an old movie right yeah it's pretty it's not old but i mean yeah it's like 10 years old i mean it's less than maybe yeah it's like that's a good amount of time right so they already yeah. had a good 10 year jump on there's an alien going to come and your guys are going to end up believing that because we're going to have ancient aliens on TV and mm-hmm. we're going to have propaganda bombarding you, dude. But they already told you like in that movie, they already told, Oh my God, like that is so crazy, dude, that they just wrapped it all up. Even the, they wrapped up. God doesn't exist. You came from an alien. Um, they can't they fucked up on you because it, it's not okay you're not perfect see because they always they because that's another thing that's the reason why they can g- genetically modify you mike and they can do stuff to us because you're not a perfect creation mm-hmm. you're not you so they have to tweak it and do stuff and stuff to it because it's not a perfect creation so mm-hmm. uh they wrap that in there because you're not perfect they messed up they have to come back and fix you uh which kind of shows their incompetency right because you yeah. fucked up your shit. You're not that good at making whatever you're doing, right? So, but then the aliens leave because again, they have to leave them in that you're we're gonna be back later stage, and then then they go into space, right, to find their creator, and then they go to a wrong planet, which is another part of their paradigm that there's other places that you mm-hmm. can go to and mm-hmm. jump off of this place, and you know, am I, you know. And they look similar, but they're not. It's all wrapped up in one, dude. Like, and it's all their, their, it's their, like, uh, what is it? They're like, uh, their net, their netting that they make themselves feel good when they're falling into the, the, the depths of truth. They, the net falls away. But there's other places we can just jump off of Earth and go over here. And then you can't. You can't. Like, you can't, you can't go nowhere. You, that's it. We're, We're stuck here. here. That's, yeah. that's it. You can't go nowhere. Yep. You're not jumping from your judgment. You're not going to go somewhere and try to jump somewhere else. And you're mm-hmm. now you're on this planet. So now it's other rules. And no, 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 fucker. You're going to meet out your judgment here. Everyone <laughs> is going to meet their judgment, dude. Everyone. That's the, the elites are trying to fi- trying to tell us you can jump off, do whatever you want. One day we'll figure out how to get off this fucking rock. We're going to Mars soon. Bitch, you Speak- haven't even gone to the moon. Speaking of which. Um, I came across an ad, Facebook ad, where you can send your DNA to Mars. Like they're, they're like they're getting your, they're, they're getting your DNA. They're like they're like they're like here's they're like here's they're like here's his DNA. There's here's Mike's DNA. They're like they're like give me the trash can. Here's where it's going. <laughs> no, I mean, well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying who knows what they're using that DNA for for real. You see okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. They're you they're using the the front of the solar system saying like it's like it's like saying like like this is how you're going to be able to travel to Mars because because so when, when we find life on Mars we can use your DNA to create humans on the planets and your your offspring will be there. That's what they're saying. Right? But who knows what they're using that DNA for for real though, you know? Yeah, yeah, they they're just tracking like they're keeping track of you your DNA. And you know what? If you probably read in their claws, it probably says something like, we own your DNA. So like if we find out like something in your DNA that's really special, like, oh mm-hmm. shit, like his DNA fights cancer. Like he can't never get cancer because his DNA kills cancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, we own it. Because you yeah. you signed right here. You signed right here. Anything we find in your DNA, we own it. And it and, and guess what? That clause is in the ancestry.com's clause. And in all those DNA ancestry companies, yeah, and most of them are owned by by um, Mormons. Those companies. Why do the Mormons want to know so much about fucking our DNA and keeping track of everyone? I don't know. 
It's a good question. Are they trying to track like God's people? Like find who they are? Like who are God's or like because it says in the movie yeah. that they'll come back. That the people they'll come back, dude. So they're trying to find them. They're like, they're gonna come back. Oh, that's a good oh man. That's a good that's people. a good point. Because you're saying that there's like a there's a mystery lineage out there that they're trying to track. Yeah. And they want to yeah. know who who is part of the, yes. the blood the bloodline. And let's go yeah. and find them and let's fucking kill them. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, exactly. My, you see how intelligent you're fucking intelligent. Dude, you do that. You make that you do that connection so fast, you make it like bam. Hmm. Like concrete connections. Damn, that's a good drop. That's a good drop right there. Um it's that light yeah, of God, man. The almighty. Just it is, seriously, it does it is. It's the spirit doing that connection. It is. It's true. The glory goes to him because it, you, we can't make these connections. I can't make this stuff up, bro. This stuff, I just, I'm just feeding it because I've just been doing it longer. But when I, I feed it to you, you just like. Yeah, because I've, I've, I've been doing a lot of research and I, I started um, just, you know, every day I wake up, I, I read the Bible for a little bit. And then I listen to, um, I listen to some, some people that just are, you know, who claim to be prophets. You know what I mean? And I just, I, I'm just curious. To hear what they have no, to say, you gotta you gotta gather all everybody, everyone, everyone's saying. So yeah. I came across this video, and it was, um, "How do you know you're hearing the voice of God?" Right, mm -hmm. and and the lady was talking about how people think that God is um, that you know sometimes it does come as audible. You know, I mean, people are like, "Oh, you know," but then that can be confused as like schizophrenia. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, that yeah. you know, <laughs> so but they, she was saying that really the voice of God is either like you either start speaking and then you don't know where that is coming from. Like you say things and you're like, how did I come up with that? That's the, that's the voice of God. Right. Be right. Or it's through other people where, you know, something happens and somebody brings you a message and you, you just needed it at the right time. And it was yeah. like, th that's the voice of God. They put, they, put, they say something to you and they don't know nothing about you. And you're just like, mm -hmm. like uh -huh. how did you, you're yeah, like, you're right, huh? And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, man, I just this." Da, da, da. You're like, "Dude, thanks, bro." That's yeah. why I don't. That's I why, like, when you when you told me when we were talking about this was like maybe a month ago, you were like, "Coincidence," you know what I'm saying? And I and now I'm like, "Dude, there's no such thing as coincidence, bro. No there can't there can't be. No, if you believe in God, there can't be. There can't be. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah." It's true. I mean, for for me at least, you know. I mean, other people that that are non-believers may may chalk it up as coincidence. They can. They got good reasons too. But I mean, for me, I feel it. I'm like, God, I was just talking about it. I was yeah. just saying this, and then he did. I just this, and he, you know, or I was thinking yeah. about this person, and he just comes to my house. Yep. I think what coincidence uh, coincidence is is like algorithms like technological algorithms like that's just coincidence yeah. hey i was just talking about you know beyonce yeah. and then i go to youtube and all of a sudden there's a video like that that, that nowadays we know that's not a coincidence no more that's not that coincidence hearing. yeah exactly you know yeah. because you know it's you know yeah pe people yeah. with the, people that don't know that the, the algorithm how it works think it's coincidence you know they they, oh they, they can i do that's and so it's true it's true and, that's, that's how, how they do it. That's how they manipulate the mind. That's how they, they can manipulate the behavior and sell it to people and mm -hmm. go, you know, it do this many believe us. Some of them believe that it's a coincidence that they've seen the whatever, and it's meant to be that they should get the whatever. But <laughs> yeah, which uh, I don't know why I thought of Beyonce because we were thinking about the blood sacrifice earlier. We were talking about that. And I, and I was trying to, I was trying to think of who she, who she could have sacrificed to get to where she's at. Beyonce, I think she sacrificed herself and her body and her soul, her body. Cause she was like, you know what? Sacrifice your body. Like your, your, your sex, your, your, what's you, what the prize to your husband, your ass, your tits and your fucking, your, your beauty, sell it, mm -hmm. sell it to people and fucking make people want to be like you and have your ass and blah, 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 all that bullshit. There's a, there's a lot of those too, you know? And her her parents sacrificed she sold her. herself, you know. She, she yeah, you you're know, right. She was she was sacrificed. Who who do, who 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 does she love more than herself, Mike? Like who? <laughs> Damn, that's true. 
I hate to be an asshole, but she's a fucking witch, dude. Fuck her. She's going to go to hell. But I'm just saying, uh, uh, <laughs> she is. I mean, she's a witch. She she's is, a, yeah. you know, it says it in the Bible. No witches, warlocks, or, or you know, even says no fearful. The fearful won't go to heaven. It says that. The fearful. You can't be fearful. Isn't that crazy? He doesn't want fearful people in the heaven. Like, he wants G. Like, he wants you to be a man. Like, yeah. Like, he doesn't want no punks, dude. It even says effeminate. If you even says no effeminate. Mm -hmm. Effeminate man. It says no effeminate man will go to heaven. That means you can't like, you can't be a a girly man. Can't be a soy boy. Yeah, you can it he literally will not accept you. Wow. It's crazy. He it says effeminate, bro. Like girl, like guys that act like women. <laughs> That act girly, you know. It's like, and there is, you know, there is people out there, out there that like that. It's controversial they, they, they topics, man. Warriors. These are real serious. Warriors. Yeah. yeah, we've been out here thirty-six minutes, man. Are you, are you really? Are you already on lunch or what? Mm, good question. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, I am actually. Nah, you know what? I'll go, I'll go maybe in a little while. Um, I yeah, am that so, I am. Uh, I don't know, man. What do you, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? You, you know, let, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, uh, Trump gets reelected. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think will happen? Do you, do you think that we're going to see another four years of protesting and rioting? Or do you think that's that that area is going to get worse? I think I think it will get worse if he gets reelected. I think that I, a civil war will happen. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, because people don't want another four years. There's a lot of people that don't want another four years. No, most of them. Yeah, most people. a lot a lot of people, a lot of people don't. A lot of people and, don't. But I'm. Yeah. And then I've heard and then I've heard rumors of of a, of a dynasty. Where his his son is also the reason why his son is so um, much in the public eye, and his daughter Ivanka, is because they're gonna, you know, they're trying to keep it in the family and keep the Trump legacy going in the White House. Oh. And that would be interesting because that's what JFK was trying to do. Hmm. Ties to that family as well what's with the, the Trump family. What's the number? Uh, his number of presidency. 45. 45. Yeah. Like, okay. If you're going to ask, if I'm going to answer right now, honestly, just on the top, like right now, the way I feel, I don't think that he's going to win. Just, just, the, just the way it looks right now. It just doesn't look like it's going to win. I don't, I just, it, it, it looks bleak to me. Okay. He, okay, so, he came out and he's like, I'm, we're going to go to the civil court. We're going to go to the civil whatever. I mean, him already saying it. He's already catching wind of something. I think he like, set it already, up that way. He set it up that way because Burr, and, and during his campaign, he was saying that they're going to cheat. He was already putting it out there. Yeah. Maybe so, just, to, just to have everyone on their toes. Like, don't be, don't get lazy, guys. They're going to cheat. Like, so keep, yeah. stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Like, stay looking. Yeah. Stay watching for everything. Record everything. Record all the Fox News, everything. Record everything, dude, so you can throw it in their face, dude. Because yeah. they're going to try to scrub stuff. Like, oh, no, that's, you know. And then you, everyone will have it backed up. Like, ah, nah, yeah. Fuck that. You guys said this. You know? Yeah. But the way, the way the, the, like, when I see it, like, it's like, a, I'm, like, in between. Like, I'm in the valley of, like, oh, man. Everyone right now is in the valley of decision. We are all like, we're all waiting to like get that like result. But if we really think about it, oh, man. There's, there's a line. There, there's a line in the sand, dude. A line in the sand's been drawn, and people have to decide. You know, and I'm not. I'm not saying people. There's there's people in the middle that you just decide that they don't want to side, so they back out. They back out out of the fight. You know what I mean? 
And I know a lot of people like that. Other than you know, you said it yourself. I'm, you, I'm, I'm I'm actually protesting it. I'm protesting it. Yeah, I, I know I know some people that are like that. That they don't you know they don't they don't want to pick a side. They just don't they don't buy into either one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, there was a, I think Joe Jorgensen. That's her name. She's the independent, the libertarian. And she got like one percent or seven percent of the votes or something like that. It was a very small percentage because nobody ever picks a libertarian. You know, I mean, people do, but I'm saying the majority don't pick the libertarians. They go for the top two guys. Yeah, yeah, or girls. I wonder how it would be if a libertarian got in office. No, uh, that would be interesting because there's a, there's there's a balance of power because they believe in both. They they understand both the both yeah. sides of the field. Yeah. Uh, it would be interesting, but I, I, uh, uh, I'm like, what slave master so I can start figuring out how I could fucking maneuver in this system? Because <laughs> so dude, if it's Biden, dude, it's gonna we're gonna. I'm like, okay, I'm not wearing a mask. He's gonna make everyone wear a mask. He is. He's, he's, he's gonna, gonna he's force gonna, the he's, he's gonna force everyone to get an evacuation, evacuation, uh, vac, uh, vaccination. He's yeah. gonna force lockdown. He's gonna force us to do shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to mandate lockdowns. He's going to make everybody stay home. Uh, we're probably going to have to homeschool the kids again, which I, I mean, that's a bit stressful, but I think I'd rather do that than force vaccines on my kids. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. so yeah. the, the school is going to, once he, once they force vaccines, the school's not going to allow my kids to go to school, dude, until they get the vaccine. And now I'm sacrificing my child. People aren't people aren't smart enough in because we don't live in that in that world anymore with entrepreneurs do but like but if if you really thought about it, like me I'm thinking I'm an entrepreneur minded and I think to, think to myself I'm not a teacher but if I was a teacher I would quit my fucking job and I would go and I would be a mobile teacher I would go and fucking like homeschool yep. like yeah, do like pri- an hour do private here, an hour there, hour two hours here, two hours there, two hours yep. there, two hours there, two hours, like or something, yeah. or how like you would do your own thing and figure out a, a system that would help the the people that are homeschooling. It's a private private, uh, private entity. Yeah, you can you can run a private, private business private. and you're already licensed. Yes, and you just go in and you and you teach them and you go in and you do something where it's a private. You go to there or whatever, and I don't know, man. You in other words, there's a vacuum of of. Of opportunity to, that you can get to fill in, because mm-hmm. because guess what? It's taking away it's taking away the schools' jobs, mm-hmm. the government facilities' jobs, because mm-hmm. they're like you can't go to school like our government facility. All right, well fuck you then. Then it, that means that it's gonna boom the the private sector, the private at home, um, uh, uh, what a homeschooling that business the homeschooling business what if the homeschooling business because it's expensive it's about fifteen hundred dollars like before when people were going to school it's mm-hmm. about fifteen dollars to put your your to do homeschooling that's expensive to get like the curriculum and do it yep yeah you gotta pay for the books you gotta pay for all the yes. and then and it's yeah. a curriculum it's a curriculum that they give yeah. you you yeah. just do yourself yeah. but it's fifteen hundred dollars what if the price school can go down now because there's more you know what i'm saying mike there's more people doing so, it so supply yes. and demand what and if, all that stuff exactly what if you can bring the price down and make it more economical for people to do but people don't think this way people don't think this way and go why don't you fill in that void all you fucking retired fucking professors and retired whoever the fuck and whatever the fuck mm-hmm. you get i'm telling you mike like it's it's like yeah. these people are lazy americans are lazy mike they don't want to fucking be entrepreneurs and be real americans or pseudo americans pseudo yeah, they want to they want to just let their uh i mean which i understand but because you know you have to work so you're working you, it's hard you can't work from home i mean technically before COVID, huh. a lot of people majority of americans weren't working from home they had to go to a yeah. building to go work you know yeah and then and then they and then what are they gonna do with the kids they gotta either put them in daycare or they got to put them in school. So they're forced to give them to the system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And right now it's kind of like the opposite. Like, okay, we're at home and then the school is like f- forcing us to, to take care of our kids. Cause I, I got my daughter here she's been, you know, one of her, one of her classmates got COVID. So they sent the whole class home for two weeks and, what? and, um, and we're, we're here having to monitor her while we work from home, which is very challenging. And then having to keep an eye on her and make sure that she's doing her assignments, that she's listening and paying attention. And it's like, 
Dude, and not all what, kids what are, are independent like that. Go ahead. They, that what I was going to say is, like, if they were to set something up where you would get interns that want to be teachers mm-hmm. and that you earn your intern credit ship or whatever the fuck yeah. with doing, like, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then, when, like, you, you, and you paint it like, 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 we're doing this for now until everything goes back to normal. And when everything goes back to normal, you'll already have your uh, credits for internship for college because you did the everyone at COVID. You went house to house and you did these people, these certain children. That I mean, it would be a it would be a daunting task because there's a lot of you'd have to. They'd be like, no, because that's a cross contamination issue. Because then you'd you're going from this house to that house to that house to that house to that house, and then. I can already hear their arguments. You're cross contaminating them. You're going to their house and you're going to the other house. And then I can already hear it, dude. But it's yeah, like, it becomes somehow, a safety issue. Yeah. Somehow it's like, you know what? Or just make it affordable to get the curriculum for less money. Instead of $1,500, make it $350. And then, yeah. you, 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 then you figure out, you, then you have someone like, all right, I'll, I'll hire. Or, or you guys hire uh, someone and then you write it off on your taxes. I don't know, dude. They're going to have to figure something out, dude. That's how I see it. It's like, you have to figure something out. They put us in this shit. So it's like, you, you're going to have to figure it out. And also, the utilities that are you're using to, to, do the, to do the schooling, does that fall under being taxable? I mean, to being write-offs? Because fuck that. I mean, that's the reason why you, you pay for schools, right? So now you're using your utilities and your internet and your everything, your... Yeah. And then, um, well, uh, there was a um, speech that Trump had given about that in the beginning of COVID, where he said that he was going to start removing funding from the from the pub from the public and private sector schools, so that uh, so that the parents can get a majority of that money because they're the ones that are that are dealing with that that workload. That's that's a big load on their shoulders. That's smart. You know, and then smart. <laughs> and, fucking, he's fucking smart. Yeah, and I think that's why the schools ended up reopening because of the reason because they didn't want to lose their funding. You know what I'm saying? Ah, like it's, <laughs> God is that he's fucking <laughs> smart, dude. He's a he's a fucking chess player, dude. Yeah, yeah. You got to give it to a lot of people think he's stupid, but I mean, you can't. You can't he knows be. Stu- how to get his way? That's for fucking sure. He knows how to get his way. You know, he's like, I'll force you, dude, with leverage. Like, oh, you know what? Oh, you know, okay. Well, then I'll just take away your five fucking money. It's the same old fucking routine with everything. How do you want to get an adult to do anything? Fuck with their money. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way you get to an adult to do with anything. Oh, that's what, yeah. That's what take away your money. We're going to give you money. And we're gonna, oh, right away, dude, they jump. You gotta hit him where it hurts. You gotta hit him in the pockets. Always. He knows how to, yeah, he knows. That's why he plays that. He's like, oh, they don't want to do it. Like, cool. What uh what kind of funding are we giving them? That's the first thing he goes to. He knows mm-hmm. his only, this is, well, that's what'll get him to move. He's like, okay, oh, you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. What kind of funding? Open up the books, what kind of funding are we giving them? They're like, oh, okay, we'll just take it all away from you. <laughs> and they're like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Isn't that what he did with the with the world with who? He's like, oh, you guys lied to me? Yeah. They're like, they're like, you guys lied to me? He's like, open up the fucking book. What are, what are we giving him? <laughs> That's the first thing he did. Yeah, yeah. That's the first it's thing true. he did. I mean, it's, he, I, I think what, what, what gets me is like, that's the one thing you don't do is you don't fuck with somebody that write, that signs your paycheck, dude. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, bro. Yes. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter who they are. You know, sure, if, they, right. if, they, if they're asking you to do something, fuck, if you want to keep getting funded, then do it. True. Don't argue. Don't fucking. You know. You can. There's there's ways around shit where you can you can address your concerns. Not, nobody's saying that you can't do that, but yeah. don't don't sit there and be like, I'm gonna do what I want. Start fucking doing you the lie. fucking they Conor speak, McGregor and shit. <laughs> they they did they did they did the fucking like the what is it um um trying to go under the pole kind of shit like. They lied. They lied to him, dude. They mm-hmm. literally told him fucking. They like they blatantly lied to him. And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> and they, yeah. <laughs> I love it, bro. And then right away, the you know who the next funder, the biggest funder 
it was us, the United States, and then uh, was Bill Gates. Mm-hmm. The Bill and Melinda, Melinda Gates, whatever foundation, was the next highest contributor to the to the who. Dude, so like oh. Bill Gates, like, hey, wait a second, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's it, man. You, you get you get them in their pockets. You you can win the game, dude. If you it, but I mean you got to deal now. You, now you're taking yourself to war if you do that, though. That's the reason why I say don't play the game, and that's fucking with their pockets. Like if we were to all just like not vote, that dude, they would be like, they would be like, what in the fuck? Okay, guys, well, what do you want? What do you want? That's yeah, what you exactly. <laughs> they would fucking do that, bro, Mike. Instead of us playing the game, if we were mm. just like, what the fuck, you guys, no. They'll be like, um, they'll be there at the polls. Like no one came, very few, no one. And they'll mm-hmm. then they'd be like, all right, what, what, what's going on? They do, they would, fuck it, they would. Oh my god, Mike, they would flip their shit, dude. If they, we, you did that, if we all did that, imagine. Okay, let's just say because no one's gonna do it, but this is just hypothetical. No one will ever do this. But imagine we just don't ever go to Walmart again. Like we're not going to Walmart. Not, we're not gonna go. No one. Yeah. Dude, watch what happens. Just what you watch. Watch two or three days of that. Two or three days of you not going to Walmart or Sam's. You watch them. Watch them go. Why? And they'll be like, "Why aren't you doing it?" We'll be like, "Cause the masks. Stop doing the masks, and we'll go back." And they'll watch them lift the mask. You can come in with shit on your face and shit on uh, chucked up your ass. They don't give a shit. Watch them. Just to piggyback mm-hmm. off that, um, they're they boycotted Netflix because of cuties, yeah. and their their stock went down, but it actually started going back up again. Because get this, because of that cutie effect, they had to raise their prices on their monthly subscription, so they passed it on to their current users. So so the price for Netflix started when I when I started with Netflix it was ten bucks a month, now it's up to almost twenty dollars a month, bro. That's not worth it because there's not even anything good to watch on it. No, but but I, I mean they're start, dude. It sucks because there's 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 a couple of new shows they're starting to put on there that I'm like, oh, I want to get back on because <laughs> my That's daughter wants, my daughter wants to watch the uh, the new Selena. Series. Get, I was about to say it. And that's what my mom said too. My mom came to me. He's like, "You gonna put it back on? Are you already done?" And I'm like, "Oh, are we gonna done? contribute to fucking? Are we gonna contribute to a fucking pedophilia?" <laughs> uh, no. But <laughs> Selena and and Fernando Deste, whatever, some show, and I, I'm like, "That's how they do you." you know, that, hey, I, tell- I don't look at me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like when you said Selena, I'm like she has a nice ass. Yeah, That's the it. show the show will be entertaining to watch. But tell it, just tell her to find a friend that has it and just use their password, just so she can watch it, get her fix. You know what I mean? No, because you, that's no, dude. That's an indirect contributing. You're still contributing. You're yeah. watching. Their You're watching their. It's a Netflix original. No, oh, that's true. You're watching their content, dude. You can't. It's you're <laughs> okay. Oh, it's because it's your account. That means it doesn't count. No. <laughs> no. It it's like, well, out. I didn't pull the trigger. I just but told I him where he, I just told him where he lived. I just got the really desperate guy that needed money, and I had the money, and I gave him the gun, I gave him the bullets, and I paid him for it. But he pulled the trigger. Like. Well, you know, you, but he, but he put your, no, no, man, no, no, I, so I'm like, no, you're not going to get me with this shit. Like these people are going to get me like Netflix ain't going to get me. Put something about hash or bud or something like that. Maybe I'll, I'll look at maybe like steal it from fucking Netflix. Maybe I'll steal it or bootleg, bootleg it off it. I figure a way out to fucking download it without paying for it. But I'm not even that. Cause it's again, you're still contributing to their shit. You're watching their shit. No, no, no. Hey, there's no way around it. I can't get around that. It's like a big mountain. There's pedophiles, dude. They didn't even take off cuties either when we when they when they lost all those billions yeah, of dollars. They kept it on. Mm-hmm. They kept it on. They were blatant as hell. They're like, fuck it, give the fuck. Matter of fact, how much was it? 14? Okay, 17.99 now. 
whatever it is. What how is, what is 18 now? 17? 18? Because they can't make it 20. 20 people won't, people aren't going to give up the $20 bill. It's not 19. No, it's like 18 99 now. Yeah, see, they did that. The, the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck they good. It's like. Yeah, that's how blatant they are. Oh, fuck it. Just give them, you know what? It was 14? Okay, four extra, four more dollars, five more dollars. And, and, and they pass it on, like you said, to the customer. Why? Because fuck them. Fuck our customers. Yeah. We need to make money. Why do we do this to our customers? Because fuck them. I mean, that's really what they do. Fuckers. I do. Like, honestly, the more I think about it, it's like, you know, it, it puts more fire that I'll never get it. Like, I'll never get it again. Like, fuck you guys. You guys suck. Yeah, they sent me an email and they said, come on, come back to us. And they said, we'll, we'll make your uh, we'll make your your monthly subscription eight ninety nine dollars for the first three months. Trying to get me back. Come dude. on, just sell your soul just a little bit. Just come on, just let a little bit, just a little bit. Just come on, just a like take a corner of your soul, just a corner of the soul, like a just a corner of it for three months. Come on, come on. We fuck babies. Come on. You see? I saw this. I mean, like, uh, you know, have you ever heard of Prager? You? No. Yeah, they're pretty popular on uh, on YouTube. And they posted this um, this video, and on the thumbnail it says, uh, "Don't just say no to baby sacrificing" or something like that. I was like, "Damn, dude, that's bold!" And and and, uh, and it's it's um the channel is not like it's not a dark channel at all. It's very like educated. People are like scholars on there, and they have like. Uh, politicians on there and stuff that obviously it's a little it's it's right it's right winged related but i saw that and i was just like oh dude that's that's it that's that's your it's red out, flag. it's, it's out, your it's, unsubscribe yeah. moment that you're just a beep it, done it's in it's out in the open bro it every like if you if you don't see it by now that's what trips me out about about people on on, on facebook that that don't know something as simple as as is that you know what I'm saying? Like human trafficking or whatever, like something that's just obvious, that, and they still don't talk about it. They don't discuss it. It's it's right in their face, and they don't see it because it's like a. It, they always do it like a joke. Like stop, you know, stop sacrificing. They're like, ha ha ha! No one would do that. It's funny. Yeah, <laughs> I want to do that. You're like, uh, that's not a joke. Mm -hmm. they actually do that there's believe me there's actually fucking pe weirdo people evil ass people out there that actually do this this shit they get off on it and you they're everyday people like you'll never know that they're satanists do they look just like you and me and they're deep down satan they probably got a shrine and all kinds of crazy shit in their house you don't know what the fuck people are doing yeah it's true and you know heard, when i was uh 18, 19, I was a pizza delivery guy and I used to drive around in just in the neighborhood where you live. I think I, I remember, I remember, yeah. Was it Pizza Hut? Yeah, Pizza Hut, the one, the one on the corner with, yeah. <laughs> where you live. Yeah. And yeah. Um, there was this guy that I used to always go and deliver to. And I, I, th I think you probably know what I'm talking about. If you ever drive down Vista del Sol and going north, east, going east, and then you yeah. drive um, like up towards the Mendez High School, but on Vista del Sol, you drive up that road. On the left yeah, hand, I, on the left hand side, like right after you cross uh, Saragossa, there's a there's a house that's kind of like decorated very like satanic like. I want to say that their house is is painted black or something like that, but it's like grayed out I, black. I think you know I've what I'm talking it. about. I think so. I it. I delivered a pizza to that guy's house one time, dude, and um, this was not on Halloween, bro. Like it was like a regular month it was like july or something like that it wasn't yeah. even like a, it wasn't a, a halloween and um mm -hmm. and i and i he opened the door and he was he was first off he was dressed in all black right like he had like a black button up black pants and all that shit. and his yeah. whole house dude he had no lights on he had he had he had candles all around he had um 
um, I saw like like an upside down cross like over his mantle and like pentagrams and all this shit. He had like skulls with like that were lit up. And his whole house, dude, was just lit up with candles, dude. And 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 I remember seeing like a like a black rug like on his floor with like candles around the black rug and stuff. Mm -hmm. People get Satanists get hungry too, I guess. But yeah, I, I hope you fucking like. Well, I hope he choked on it. <laughs> dude, it was just really awkward, bro. It was, it was really like, I, I hope you had the shits. I hope you had the shits that like for a week from that fucking pizza. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> yeah, we're all. I think I think we're good, man. That that was a good conversation though. Yeah, that it was, was a good talk. Um, that was, that was a whole yeah, hour. That's, that's dope.